Alright guys, so uh, I believe I've discovered a floating island here. Um, I'm getting my jigs reflecting back and um, just put this on my hotbar, really. Be wise. So yeah, um, I just used my water bolt. I went up with it. And they bounced back, so I'm going to assume there's some kind of... Oh, um, meatball. <coughs> Haven't really tested this out yet. Um, fucking no. If I keep them there, then that will spawn chimeras as much, which is good. So basically, I'm just gonna go up. Uh, these things are annoying. probably some more efficient way of doing it than this, but I'm just floating island hunting because floating islands are fun and awesome. And there it is. And I kind of forgot that floating islands were like so amazing in this update 1.2 because they are, if you didn't know already. Alright, so I'm um, just gonna build along here. I'm gonna just kind of build up a bit. Okay, so I'm um, just gonna. I see platinum on this floating island, quite a bit of it actually. Some there, some there, some there. Is that platinum as well? I don't know. I think that might just be iron, but or silver. But there's definitely a lot of ore here, and I could make it and sell it. I don't know. I'm taking it all. Um. So yeah, this is basically. I hope I get something good from the floating island chest, because I mean, generally. I would like, I think the Star Fury is the thing I want the least. In space you jump higher. Yay. Is this platinum? Or is this just silver? Silver, meh. Oh, harpy. Okay, that's um, that, oh, but, nope, I'm getting harpy swarmed. Harpies, uh, get inside the building. <laughs> a shiny red balloon, nice. And a sky mill. Not sure exactly what that is, but it uh, I'll I'll take it. Um I want those really. Oops. I didn't wanna take it there. Uh, well, they don't need this uh stuff. Can I go home? Alright, so that was our first experience of a floating island. Yay, so I'm gonna go find another one, then I'll be back. I haven't found a floating island, but I have found a meteor, literally right next to the last one. Like, right next to it, so I'm just gonna... I've had... I'm, I'm basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underground and mine that obsidian now that I can. And... I need to get out of here. cave is quite close by, which is why I don't want to just use my magic mirror and go home, because... Oh my god, there's a lot of me meteor heads. So yeah, I, I, I need an obsidian skull, basically. So I'm going to go back into the cave of doom. Look at this jump pipe. Wee. Is 
so I just <laughs> all right so I, I know where the obsidian is I've seen it many times whoa panic necklace is um probably gonna get rid of the panic necklace actually no because it gives a lot of defense Probably gonna get there's a shackle to be honest. Time to test out my new weapon. And it's pretty effective. Yay. So ow, didn't see that bat there. Oh, I love this this sword and everything along with it. <laughs> also, the armor has like really good life. Ow! Seeing life regen this kind of took a hit for a lot of damage. Um, is that like one of those false sword things? Uh, I don't even have any. Do I seriously not have any torches? Alright. Feather. I think this is just like a false sword here. But there's like a sword in the ground. Uh, I don't think that's the special enchanted sword that you can get. I think that may be the other one. The decoy, even. There's quite a bit of obsidian down here that I've seen, so that's awesome. How much health do snow flinxes have? Appear to have like a lot. Yep, that's my description of their health. A lot. Right, so let's mine this stuff. Am I not getting any of this obsidian? Oh, of course I'm not. Uh, don't have any space for a uh, vertebrae. Quite a bit of obsidian here. We don't need a lot of it for hellstone stuff. Oops, lagged there. Um. Ow. You're gonna need a load of it for the hellstone that I need later on. Okay, get out. Blech. Wow, that was fast insight ness right there. This is just gonna mine all this obsidian. Delicious obsidian. I need for Hellstone in total for like all the Hellstone I want. I want the armor, I want the pick, and I want the fiery great sword. Not bothered about the other stuff. Uh, actually, I do want the Phoenix Blaster for the Wall of Flesh fight. here I can utilize. Can't reach the obsidian. Okay, there we go. Nope, oh, there we go. 
this should be enough for uh, well a lot of obsidian. This is a lot. This is a lot of obsidian right here. I would say. a close close death near death experience thing right there there is a way of making an obsidian generator which uh, automatically makes obsidian out of basically an infinite source of water that you can make which never depletes itself and I've made one of those ones but it takes quite a lot of time and effort and it's very painstakingly slow, and I've got quite a lot of obsidian here as it is. So now I basically can't see anything under here. Um, so I don't know where the obsidian is anymore. Uh, I think that might be all of it. Don't know because I can't see down there. Do I not have that shine potion on anymore? Damn it. I'm gonna mine all this obsidian out as well. Just gonna be more careful around here because there's less water. Um. Ow. See, that's what can go wrong when mining obsidian. Touching lava. Being an idiot and mining out the air pocket, because I, I do that. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll stop getting obsidian soon, there's quite a lot of it here, to be honest. Probably got quite enough for now, and there was nowhere it is, so yeah, I'm um, gonna go home and raining. I'm gonna make an obsidian skull. There it is. Obsidian skull. And switch it out for the shackle. Which I'm just going to throw on the floor while I sell some stuff to the merchant. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this somewhere. There. Don't know don't know exactly what that does. Probably to do with uh, skyware blocks, I would presume. Um, what was I doing? Shackle. Obsidian has no value, apparently. Although, to be honest, I could just turn it into skulls and sell those, because they have a pretty good price on them. <coughs> Sorry. Um. So yay. I think we're gonna end the episode. Didn't really do too much, but I mean, it's been a good enough episode. I'm probably gonna go mine that meteorite off camera. So yeah, I'm not sure how long this episode's been. So if it's really short, sorry. Uh, I just don't not really aware. So yeah, bye guys. Or not, because I happen to have found another floating island while searching around. Mind the meteorite. I got a ton of ore from that. I'm going to turn it into bars and sell it all. Because that's just what you do with meteorite. Yay. Um, so I'm just building up because these harpies are just annoying. So um, I'll be right back in just a second once I've finished pillowing up. Alright guys, so I was being like stupid and completely forgot to record that and but I found a lucky horseshoe. I kind of got rid of my band of star power because not band of star power, the band of life regen one. That one. Um so now I can just do this. We no damage taken. Alright so uh, this episode has dragged on a little longer than I expected, but I am going to go home now, and 
<coughs> just do some stuff in general. Um, first I'm gonna sell um that. Don't need it to be honest. The dynamite was actually really expensive. Did not expect it to be so expensive. Oh, I have a uh, enough for a mana thing. I believe the maximum is like 200 mana or 10 stars. Yeah, that that sounds about right. So I going to craft my meteorite into bars <coughs> because I've. I believe meteorite is more valuable in bar form. I believe. One short of a stack this time. It's the smallest one yet. So, uh, hmm. Do I sell it all? I mean, do I really need it? Nah, not really. I believe there is another one somewhere, and it's it's money, yeah, all of money. And quick stack, we have thirty gold coins in there. That's very nice. Fireflies. Oh yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna buy a bug net. Wait. Gold coin. Uh, bug net. I want to capture a few of these fireflies. <laughs> that one's too high up. I can't get it. I'm just going to end the episode here, guys. Bye.